Our solar system is big. I'm talking a few billion miles big. It's the sun and all the objects around it. It's been around for roughly 4.6 billion years already, and the planet we live on is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Today, we look at some incredible facts about our solar system. Number 26, let's talk numbers. Before we get into the nitty gritty, here are some numbers that you need to know. There's obviously just one sun and eight planets, which include Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There are five dwarf planets, which are Pluto, Ceres, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. There are 81 moons, 566,000 asteroids, and 3,100 comets. Number 25, measure up. Did you know that Pluto is actually smaller than the USA? If you measured the distance between North Carolina and Maine, it would be 2,900 miles. Pluto is only 1,400 miles across. Kinda makes sense when you think about how Pluto lost its planet status and was demoted to dwarf planet. Number 24, it's explosive. Jupiter is our next stop, but we won't stay for long because the moon Io here has hundreds of volcanoes and yes, they are very active. Plumes of these volcanoes shoot up into the atmosphere as far as 250 miles, and some spacecraft have been fortunate enough to witness these explosions. The eruptions are caused by the immense gravity that the moon is exposed to, although it's still not clear how the heat spreads throughout Io, so predicting when the eruptions will happen is near impossible. Number 23, it's hot in here. If you were to guess what the hottest planet would be, many would think Mercury because it's the closest to the sun. However, that would be incorrect. The answer is Venus. The reason it's not Mercury is that due to its close proximity to the sun, it doesn't have an atmosphere, so there's nothing to trap the heat. On the other hand, Venus has a thick atmosphere, which is perfect for trapping loads of heat, making it the hottest of all the planets. Number 22, junk in the trunk. Space is full of junk at any given time, and it's estimated that there are around 500,000 pieces of space junk floating around today. It's made up of bits of rocks, satellites, and even tools that may have dropped while construction was underway at the International Space Station. You might wonder if anyone has been hurt by falling space junk, but to date, most of it has fallen into the ocean. Although one woman in Oklahoma was hit in the head by a booster from a shuttle, she was totally okay. Number 21, Ocean's 11. Jupiter seems to be full of surprises because we just found out that it has the biggest ocean on the planet. Jupiter is five times further away from the sun than the Earth and therefore held a lot more helium and hydrogen than Earth. The planet is mostly made up of those gases. At some point, the hydrogen has to turn into liquid, which means there is an ocean of liquid hydrogen and its depths are estimated to be around 25,000 miles. Number 20, Time Out. So you've been in space for weeks or months, and you finally land back on Earth, only to be planted in quarantine on your return. That must have been very difficult to bear for those brave astronauts. When astronauts returned from the moon, they had to stay in quarantine, in case they brought back a deadly disease. Fortunately, after a few times of doing this, they realized there was no threat. Number 19, have a blast. We mentioned that one of Jupiter's moons has volcanoes, but it turns out that Mars is home to the biggest volcano. Things are pretty quiet on Mars at the moment, which is probably reassuring for those wanting to live there, but it isn't always the case. Giant ones have formed and exploded, which included Olympus Mons, which was the biggest one recorded in the solar system. It was 374 miles across and 16 miles high. It's still not 100% clear how the volcanoes form in the first place, but that could just be a matter of time. Number 18, the days are long. Mercury is not the planet that you'd ever like to live on. To date, only two expeditions have ever been to Mercury, where temperatures during the day skyrocket, and at night, plummet. The other downside to living in Mercury? Well, one day on Mercury is the same as 58 days on Earth. A year in Mercury is just 88 Earth days. Number 17, have a drink. It's reassuring to know that there is another place besides Earth that has fresh water. Ceres is a dwarf planet, which is the only one to be part of the main solar system, and it's here that you'll find a lot of fresh water. It's been calculated that there is more fresh water on Ceres than all the water on Earth. Now, if only we could reach that water and send it to the drought-stricken areas on Earth, <laughs> we can dream, right? Number 16, catch wind of this. Venus has it all when it comes to extreme weather conditions. High temperatures, the atmosphere is literally crushing, insane lightning storms, and on top of all of that, super powerful winds. Space probes have been sent to Venus successfully since the 60s, but due to the extreme weather, can only gather data for a few minutes before having to leave. The winds flow 50 times faster than the Earth rotates, and it's been found that the hurricane winds are getting stronger with each passing year. Number 15, Ray of Sunshine. When we think of the sun, we think of this faraway ball of hot gas. We never consider the fact that we live inside the sun. The sun's outer atmosphere extends way further than what we can see. 
and apparently that's evident when gusts of solar wind are responsible for the northern and southern lights. These auroras are also seen on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Some sites suggest that the tail of the sun extends tens to hundreds of billions of miles downwind, which is phenomenal to consider. Number 14. As if the name wasn't bad enough. Of course, I'm referring to Uranus, the butt of all jokes for decades. Poor Uranus does have more to it than just a bad name, and now it's been discovered that the planet is tilted 82 degrees on its side. Due to this tilt, one season on Uranus could last as many as 20 Earth years. Imagine being stuck there during winter. Recently, there's been recording of an even longer winter storm, and then only a decade-long spring. So that's definitely not a good place for humans to try to get another life started. Number 13. Extreme Weather Ahead as if the horrible weather on Uranus wasn't enough, let's have a look at some of the other planets. Jupiter has insane winds, and on Jupiter you'll find the Great Red Spot. It's a massive storm that's been raging for 300 years. Mercury and Mars can go from one extreme to the next in just one day, and Venus gets scorching temperatures that are five times hotter than boiling water. Finally, the wind in Neptune can reach speeds of 1,600 miles per hour. Number 12. A Weighty Issue if you're in the middle of a game of 30 seconds, your friends will think you're incredible to know this piece of information. The sun is so heavy that it accounts for 99.8% of the solar system's mass. A teaspoon of the sun is said to weigh 10 million tons. Number 11. Here, there, and everywhere. It's been more than 60 years that we've been exploring space, and within those few years, we've been fortunate enough to send spacecraft to every single planet, including two dwarf planets, Pluto and Ceres. Think of all the information we've gathered in just over 60 years, and then think of what's still to come. Quite incredible, isn't it? Number 10. Put a ring on it. It seems like Saturn isn't the only one sporting some jewelry. There are other planets with rings as well. Planets like Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus all have rings around them. They're just harder to see because they're so far away. Number 9. Sailor of the skies. Ever wonder where the word astronaut comes from? Astron is the Greek word for star, and nautes means sailor. So a direct translation would be star sailors, which I actually think sounds far better than astronauts. Number 8. It's written in the stars. It's believed that the Milky Way could contain as many as 4,000 billion stars and probably an equal number of planets. The IC 1101, which is the largest galaxy known to man, features more than 100 trillion stars, which smaller galaxies have around 10 billion. Despite all these billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of stars out there, we can only see around 2,500. Number 7. Waste not, want not. Thanks to Jupiter, the solar system has its very own garbage disposal. Jupiter has a powerful magnetic field that attracts any space debris into its orbit, thereby protecting other planets from any damage. Number 6. A sizable issue. Scientists have now confirmed that Mercury is still shrinking. For a long time, it was thought that the Earth was the only tectonically active planet in the solar system, meaning that there is change and movement on the planet. This train of thought changed when the first orbital mission of Mercury was compared to a later orbital mission, and the major differences were noted. Data was captured in 2016 where new cliff-like landforms were discovered, proving to scientists that after 4.5 billion years, the planet is still contracting. Number 5. Changes are coming. Probably one of the most well-known stars is the North Star, the one that is used for navigational purposes. That may eventually change, but not in our lifetime. In 3000 BC, the North Star was a star called Thuvan, and in roughly 13,000 years, it's believed the North Star will be one called Vega. Number 4. Our Dang Spot. This spot is where the solar system's largest storm is raging and has been for the last 300 years. However, it's been noted that the spot is shrinking. The size in 2014 was 10,250 miles across, which is half the size that has been recorded in history. The shrinkage is being monitored and could just be a matter of time before the storm disappears completely. Number 3. Stand out in a crowd. Venus likes to do things differently, and instead of spinning clockwise like every other planet, she likes to spin counterclockwise. Another strange thing that is happening is the spinning is slowing down. At this stage, it's not clear why this is happening. Number 2. Slow and steady. Speaking of slowing down, Earth's rotation is also happening a little more slowly than usual. What this means is there could be longer days in the future. It most certainly won't be in our lifetime, as it's only slowing down around 17 milliseconds every 100 years. So in about 140 million years time, the days could be 25 hours long. Number 1. Climb every mountain. Perhaps you could find yourself climbing the mountains found on Pluto too. Nothing is impossible. 
It's always been thought that Pluto looked pretty much the same throughout, but in 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft sent back interesting pictures of mountains on the planet. The icy mountains stand 11,000 feet high and the planet was geologically active around 100 million years ago. This is a mystery to scientists because Pluto is so far away from the sun that there is no chance the heat for the geological activity came from the sun. So where did it come from? It will only be a matter of time before we have the answers to that, I'm sure. Thanks for watching our video. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to the channel for more intriguing daily videos. And stop on by Board Badger for more videos.